see. Come see me. Come on. Come. <laughs> Nell, and today I'm hanging out with Oscar, and Oscar loves plants. He wanted me to tell you all about his very favorite plant, catnip. Some cats love it, some cats don't. I have two kitties, one Riley and the other is Oscar. Oscar is 15, loves to sleep and bug you with his purring, but he's um, a champion at sleeping because he's older. But I brought this in the house when I got it at the farmer's market. It was all beautiful, upright, fuller. It had like probably at least six more stems on it. And I went out to the car to get the rest of my goodies I got at the farmer's market. And the plant was flattened. So I moved it out on the porch and he tries to get out there. Any chance he can get now, he's obsessed with it. So um, to him, it's like... a you know, it's a kitty drug. It's like, wow, you know, it's, a, it's kitty high. Whereas my other cat, Riley, doesn't pay any attention to it. So you might have a cat who doesn't pay any attention to it, and that's just how it is. Not all cats are um, invigorated and enthused by catnip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transplant this into here because it's not going to live on my porch, so I want it to uh, be in a better pot than this. Many years ago, I used to work on an herb farm. I did a work in the herb gardens and I propagated and I made potpourris and that sort of thing. And the herb farm was called Catnip Acres Herb Farm, which is an adorable name for an herb farm, I think anyway. So this is catnip right here. And you might think it looks kind of funny because I have the sticks in it, but this is going to help keep the, and the cat, in, in my case, Oscar, out of the middle of the plant because that's where it is going to come back. It is a perennial, so you can cut these stems off and you can dry them and your kitty will enjoy them. I'm going to do that soon because there are many broken stems here. Oh, and speaking of the stems, the stems are square because catnip is a member of, of the mint family. Catnip is a hardy herb, as I said. It's hardy um, to zone 3, which I believe is about minus 35 degrees. So it goes pretty cold, and then it does fine in the Mediterranean climates here, like coastal California, where this one is going to grow. And mine is going to be on the front porch. It's going to be in part sun. It's a, it's a covered front porch, so it's very bright. It gets like an hour of direct sun, but that's it. So this one will stay smaller, which is fine. That is what I want. I want to keep it a little more contained. So um, this one will probably maybe only get about two feet tall. But if you have it in the garden, it can actually get three to four feet by about three to four feet. And it does prefer full sun. But again, it will take some part sun too. That's fine. And it gets tiny little in insignificant flowers on it. But it will flower. So it prefers regular watering. It's not extremely drought tolerant but it doesn't take a ton of water either so you might want to just give it a good water about once a week I'm probably going to do that to this one maybe once a, w a week or every every two weeks because it's not in full sun if we have it in an herb um, tea because it is used in teas a lot it has a calming effect on us it can actually um, you can find it in sleepy time teas too which is really Interesting that it has such a different effect on us that it has on them. Although Oscar does get really revved up and then he, he just passes out. So, I mean, maybe ultimately it is the same effect. This one I, I, I transplanted. I, I just transplanted it into a slightly bigger pot. Again, I don't want to get too big. I used a mixture of um, cactus and succulent mix because it has a lot to uh, um, in the drainage and then I used an indoor outdoor planting mix so and, and of course worm castings are in that too so that it has something sort of um, a little bit rich to it but it also drains really really well hey, you might want to use this idea in your garden too to put stakes around the crown of the plant something like even a tomato cage turned upside down where you could 
tie it at the top to make it look almost like a rose tower or something. Just something to protect the plant, but your kitty can still get to the leaves. And uh, now, indoors, it is not as easy as outdoors at all. It likes a lot of light, so it usually doesn't last too long indoors. It gets really leggy and sort of scraggly, and it also likes the difference in temperatures, too, that the outdoor world has and our indoor world does not have. So you might have to buy it um, a lot more often indoors. But that's okay because if you have the plant indoors and your cat can access it, and the plant will probably be gone anyway. Oh, chomp, chomp, drool, drool. As you can see, Oscar is enjoying his nip. This is actually a new plant. I had to get a new one because the other one got destroyed. That's what happens with catnip. But fortunately, yes, yes, nursery sells them at our farmer's market. It's organic. They will. I'll leave a link to that nursery down below. And as usual, there's a post that goes along with this video, so be sure to check that. And please subscribe, because Oscar would really like it if you did. And I thank you so much for watching, and we have a lot more videos coming your way, so be sure to check back. Thanks!